Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Peter and welcome to my vlog. Today we're going to talk about the Z9 and Z8 sensor and its base ISOs. So let's get started. A few weeks ago I noticed uh, that people were talking about the low light performance of the Z9 and the Z9 sensor. And so I gave it a go and had a look at the N-Log performance when I was doing low light shooting. And I noticed that when I was bouncing around the ISO ranges, that there was another uh, particular ISO that seemed to have a really good low light performance value. So there's the base ISO of 800 uh, for N-Log, which works really well. And also the other one that works really well, and this would be for the ZA2, is uh, ISO 4000. I found that it only has the really good performance at 4000 that's obvious uh, when you use N-Log and this can be for 10-bit, uh, 12-bit uh, RAW, 422 ProRes RAW or uh, N-RAW and the values uh, for SDR or HLG on some of the other codecs don't have this. So let me show you exactly what it looks like when you set it on N-Log uh, to ISO 4000. First we want to set up the video setting. So let's get straight into the camera and have a look at what we've got. So first thing we want to do is make sure we're in the uh, video bank. We want to select the video type to be uh, NRAW and NLOG. So that's in the video file type, NRAW. Uh, frame size, frame rate, same. Video quality, NRAW, normal. Uh, really, it's just primarily about the actual NLOG. So the rest of the settings we can just leave as they are. Okay. So you can tell here that the ISO 800 is quite dark and uh, it's not too noisy, uh, a lower shutter speed uh, so we get more light. You can see again uh, there's not too much noise there. We jump it up and all of a sudden at 3200 we'll get a lower, uh, sh uh, faster shutter speed. Uh, you'll see that the noise will start to increase. So at 3200 uh, shutter speed will uh, make it faster and you can see a lot of noise creeping in it's quite uh, evident and what we'll do is we switch over 2500 still noisy 3200 now 4000 bang you can actually see it cleans up quite a lot and this is really evident when you look closely on a monitor or on the uh, viewing screen for the Z9 so these two ISO uh, values 4000 and 2000 and 800 so 4000 and 800 are ideal for uh, video recording in low light Okay guys, so that's it for the Z9 and Z8. Now you know for N-Log what the really uh, great settings you can use are for ISO. I definitely wouldn't use uh, anything else other than those two base ISOs, especially for low light, unless you want a really grainy look, but uh, it doesn't really look good to me. So guys, uh, amazing to see Nikon's uh, release the Z8. Uh, not, def not my kind of camera. I was looking for something a little bit more focused on the cinema line of things. I will be sticking with Nikon, however, and hoping that they do release a better camera in the next couple of years. I will still be, you know, accumulating the, the Z glass uh, and most likely moving on from my Sony gear. So anyway guys, have a good one. I'll see you at the next video and I look forward to seeing you all later. Bye!